Hello and welcome to the Cotswold Gold Kitchen. While developing our range of oils, we've been looking at simple ideas that you can do at home that are delicious. With an up and coming chef and a good friend of mine, Rupert Lynch. Hi there. So, what are you going to entice us with today? So on the menu today, we have a garlic and rosemary infused focaccia bread using your delicious garlic infused oil. So step one in the production of making focaccia is I'm going to get Charlie to dissolve the yeast in some warm water, 200 millilitres approximately, but that may change depending on the flour. To my strong white bread flour, approximately 500 grams, I'm going to add two pinches of salt and a tablespoon of garlic oil and two tablespoons of the original Cotswold oil. There we go. As well as that, I'm going to roughly pick a pinch of rosemary and just roughly tear that into the bowl as well. So Charlie, the next stage is if you add the liquid to the dry ingredients. There we go. So just incorporate the liquid until it's all taken up. At this stage you may need some more liquid depending on how the flour is behaving. So looking at that, I think it's going to need a little bit more liquid. Charlie, if you just add that there. And now, by looking at it like this, it looks to me like that's the right consistency. So I'm going to hand over the sweaty hot job to Charlie. So Charlie's working the bread dough at the moment, stretching out the, that gluten and creating a nice lightish, less dense dough. It's different to a normal bread dough insofar as we don't need it to rise as much and it will be a flat bread as opposed to a risen bread. So we don't need to work it as much but we do need to stretch out the gluten, which Charlie's doing a very good job of. Now we can see now that it's starting to change consistency, starting to look much more elastic than it has done previously. We need to work that a little bit more until we see that dough beginning to stretch out. There we go. So now that's ready to sit and prove. It's best to put a tea towel or a damp cloth over the top and then we'll set this aside and let this prove for approximately an hour. So an hour has flown by and this will have now doubled in size and it's ready to go into the oven. Charlie, you'd like to grab the tray and the mold and sea salt. Just a couple more stages to the final product. So let me grab the spoon. Charlie, I'd like you to oil the tray with some Cotswold Gold. Now the beauty of Cotswold Gold is that it burns its smoking point it's extremely high, higher than some vegetable oils. I believe it smokes at around about 220, 230. And a focaccia ideally wants to go into an extremely hot oven around 240, 250 centigrade. That's the ideal cooking temperature. Okay, so let's work that into a square. Use your fingertips, there we go. Pour into the edges or? Mm, yeah, it, does, it needs to be a, a, about a two centimetres in thickness, evenly. So keeping the, there we go. So we'll drizzle some of this on top. There we go. And some molded sea salt, some rock salt. So the catch is almost ready to go into the oven. Uh, it needs another four or five minutes to prove. And then it needs to go in at about 240-250 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And then down, up to 10 minutes, turn it down to 200 degrees Celsius. And after that, for another 10 minutes, it should be good to go. Right, and here we go. So let's take a nice, slice of it. So the key to a good focaccia is to have these little little pockets of air. 
I'll take a nice little slice up here. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Get your garlic oil. Nice and light. But the rosemary comes through as well. Mm -hmm. I like it so much, I'll go back in a second. <laughs> I hope that shows you that it's a simple and easy way of making focaccia bread. And it, it, this goes perfectly with Cotswold Gold and a bit of balsamic. Or one of our brand new drizzle range that are delicious and unique.